Welcome to the Even Better Podcast, where your host, Seneca Waugh of Your Clear Next Step, brings you exciting content about making communities better by helping people get even better at work. Welcome, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us on today's edition of the Even Better Podcast. This is Seneca Waugh with Your Clear Next Step, helping everybody have better work days so we can co-create better communities. And I am so delighted to tell you that today with me, I have as our guest, Kelly Webster. Kelly, thank you so much for being here today. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm very honored. This is great. So for those of you who don't know Kelly, Kelly Webster is a graphic designer. She is the owner and founder of Webster Creative in Indianola. She has been designing her whole life and creating things her whole life, but she's been running a uh, graphic design business for the last five years. I've known Kelly because of her community involvement, and we got connected through Rotary International and Warren County Leadership Foundation and through the Chamber in Indianola, and I have continued to delight in Kelly's commitment to relationships and to helping others just really realize their dreams, and it's been so fun watching that happen. And and then I like, I also happen to know she's a great graphic designer. She's done some work for us and uh, you don't have to just take my word for it. She was named in 2020, one of the top 15 graphic designers in Des Moines by expertise.com. So Kelly Webster of Webster Creative, what a joy to have you with us today talking about six reasons. Okay. So let's, let's make sure we get this, this title, right? Cause I am deeply in love with this title. Six reasons hiring a professional graphic designer can make your workday even better. Did I get that title right? Absolutely. Yes. That's outstanding. And that is just, just exactly the kind of title I would expect out of the way you build your relationships and help others uh, really help use their design or their products to, to make things better for your customers, right? To tell their stories and to show that. And I'm, I'm just delighted in that about you. So, but we better get into the topic. And my first question for you is really to, to set the stage with us. There are some who are not familiar with the idea of a professional graphic designer. What does that, what, what all does that entail? What, what is a professional graphic designer? What is graphic design in general? Yeah. So in general, it's, it's, you know, we take, we assemble together images and typography and to create a piece of design for typically it's publishing, printing, and electronic media for brochures and advertising. But aside from the technical aspect, kind of what a graphic designer does is I like to to put it as it's the art of combining what we feel and what we see. So it's, it's, it's very reliant on emotions. So a professional graphic designer, we create a visual story for your business's communication. So that kind of helps sum it up a little bit for you. Yeah. Yeah. So there is, there is a technical aspect to it and there's also an art to it. Is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. I love the fact that you're also into storytelling because I, I think about the conversations that you and I have had when you're working on product for us. And, and the things I've kind of overheard you talk about with your other customers, just really helping them tell their story. And that's cool that you can do that th- through this format. Super cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're talking specifically about professional graphic designers here. And so the, the, the point that you're making is there are six reasons that hiring a professional graphic designer, someone who knows what they're doing and, and has a, a business out of this can make your workday even better. Let's just dive right into them. We've got six of them. So let's dive into one of them. And the first one that you said of the six reasons that hiring a professional graphic designer can make your work day even better. The first one is that it saves you time. Okay, we're all just sitting up right now. How does it save you time? We all are ready to save time. Talk to us about that, Kelly. Yeah. So, well, just to like run it down real quick. So utilizing expertise and being a one-stop shop and then saving time and money and stress. So utilizing expertise, that's kind of, you know, like for people who've gone into business, entrepreneurs, business owners, you know, they went into business because they're an expert in what they do. And a graphic designer is the same. We're an expert at what we do. And usually there's a lot of difference between what someone does in their business as opposed to being a graphic designer. It's a creative quality and and not everybody gets to have that. So utilizing that, it frees you up 
emotionally and time-wise too, to do what you're, what you're good at. And then the graphic designer does what they're good at. And, you know, for, for myself being a creative person, math is not my subject. (laughs) And so I utilize the expertise of accountants, bookkeepers to do the math end of my business as they would rely on me to do the creative end of their business. So, you know, it just, it makes a lot of sense that you stay in your area of expertise and you partner with those who can balance you out. So you can just keep doing what you're good at, what you're passionate about, and, you know, what's not going to make that a better day for you if you're just doing what you love, you know, because I'm, I'm pretty happy that I get to do what I love every day. And I try to be a one-stop shop for people, for my customers. So it, it just, it really, I handle as much as I can on the end of what I'm good at. And I utilize my resources and my experience, my expertise to take it from beginning to end. Beginning means, you know, having the conversation, figure out what you, it is that you need. Then I create it. And if you need other things such as content created, I, I can handle that and collaborate with that and things that go with the website. And so I can, if it's outside of my wheelhouse, I have resources that I reach out to that can help fill that, that void. So you're still only contacting me to get what you need done. Even if I bring someone else, it's still just asking me what you need and I take care of it. And then the end products, which is printing, or if it needs to go to the website, I can take care of all of that. So you just say, Hey, I need this. I go, you approve and we're done. That's pretty important. I think to keep people efficient with their time if they utilize others to take over that. So and another example is, is a, one of my customers currently has their, their design work done at the printer because they offer a design service with the print. Then they offer, when they're going to the newspaper for an ad, they offer design service for the ad. So he has this person designing here, that person designing there. He's doing a, a letter and it's just kind of all over the place. So when he needs something done, depending on what it is, he's going to have to handle those individual people. But if you have one person that you rely on to keep your design and your, your brand going for you, number one, it's going to stay consistent. Number two, it's one person you have to c- contact that will then handle the rest of that for you and send it on wherever the next place is that needs to go. So his life is so much easier now that he's only just going through me and, Hey, I need this. It gets done. And we move on to the next project. So thinking about that, one of, one of the things that I I think perhaps I'm, I'm seeing in a different way is the, the reality that a graphic designer, a professional graphic designer is not just going to know the art and the creative, and they're not just going to know how to create that, but they're also going to know the, like how to, how to connect with all those other people. Like you, you would, you would know how to collaborate with content people or, you know, bring your own content to the table. You would know how to get in touch and get the right things over to the the newspaper folks or the print folks in a way that I think about the things that, that we might do as business owners and like, well, I don't know, I, they need a picture. So somebody draw me a picture and, and get it over there. And I could see how that would be really time consuming. There, there's a definitely a lot more than just the creative side. There is a technical side and it's, it's pretty big. And that's not only just the software to, to create, but then the end products and how that needs to be uh, formatted for the right end product. You bet. All right. Let's, so let's explore a second one. So you've got six reasons that hiring a professional graphic designer can make your workday even better. And to that point about the, the technical expertise. So this might be a professional graphic designer, not not someone who took, you know, a, a class once in high school, their sophomore year, but a professional graphic designer. Um, so your second, first one's that it saves you time. Your second thought is that it increases your income. All right. Revenue up, income up. Everybody likes that. Talk to us about that. How does that work? Yeah. So when you hire a professional graphic design in, in any, any industry, when you have a higher professional, your quality is going to increase. So quality will increase traffic. When something looks better, it fits the situation better. It states your message better. People are going to understand it and catch on mm-hmm. and then do whatever it is you're, you're trying to get them 
get them to do, get them to buy or get them to go or to sign up or whatever it is. The message needs to be right. It needs to look correctly. So then the other part of that is your brand and the consistency of what that message looks like. So when people see something, they're going to recognize it, that it's you because it has been thoughtfully created and designed to be consistent to say, this is who I am. And here I am here, 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 and there. And you'll be able to know who that's like target. You know, when you see that bullseye, that's target. Even if the word isn't there, you know that it's target, Best Buy, all those, you know, Nike, all those. It's just that simple image that you know what it is. And over the, you've learned what it stands for. And so then that will then bring you the more awareness, the more business, mm-hmm. the more income. Yep. So yep. yes, it, it definitely, and bottom line, those two things are, are the most important, I think, to any business owner, no matter what you do. Exactly. Save me time and bring me more money. <laughs> you bet. And save me money. It's all tied in there. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, so we've got certainly things that if you're in a small business and whether you're the business owner or whether you're an employee working for the business owner, those two will resonate super powerfully that if, if you're working on your brand as a business, that saves you time for your, your event, but I've also, or your brand saves you time and increases your income, but I've also known you to work with other situations. So not just business owners. I've seen you work with groups who are trying to put on events or promote a nonprofit and other things. As we go through this, I I anticipate that some of these others will will be there. And I just would love to hear you chime in just a little bit to to those who are listening who maybe aren't business owners, that there are ways that a graphic designer can, a professional graphic designer can be helpful outside of just the business owner role. Is that a fair thing to say? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, not every business is business owners at the level of handling those kinds of things. They usually probably are right at the start, but then they grow and then they have someone else. They have a marketing team or a marketing person that will handle that for them. So it just kind of goes down, down the chain. And so, yes, I absolutely, I deal with that in marketing directors and for the company itself. Then also other people that are underneath a large umbrella, like realtors and insurance people, they like to do personal branding or team branding. So they, they may be, they may work and get all their, their structure from Keller Williams say, but they have a team and they want their team to be recognized as such and such. So when people see it, they're, they're more recognized as themselves and trusted because they're underneath the umbrella of Keller Williams, say, same way with insurance and those kinds of things. So, yep, it all, it trickles down in a lot of different, a lot of different ways. Super. All right, let's get to the third one. So three, uh, we're on six reasons hiring a professional graphic designer can make your workday even better. The first one was it saves you time. And uh, the second one is it increases your bottom line, increases income. So the third one is it makes you look professional. Okay. Talk to us about that. How, how does having a professional, I mean, it seems intuitive, but maybe you can set us straight on a couple things here. <laughs> well, it, you know, it's pretty, pretty important that your, let's say your logo to start with, because that's usually the first image of what your business is, is your logo. That it's, it's so important that that is a clean, precise, and professional, that it reflects, it reflects so many things about your business, about you, how you're going to do your business. Do you value you? If you value you, you're going to put resources and and money into what that looks like, into your logo. Brings in the right people, brings in the right message. I mean, colors and tones, everything all speak to people's emotions and, and make them think a certain direction. So it also reflects on how you're going to treat your customers. Whether, you know, you're going to treat them with thoughtfulness and care, if you put that into your look and what represents you out there to the public, it does truly say a lot about how you're going to treat them. Mm. Looks aren't, you know, people say, oh, how you look doesn't mean everything. Well, in a lot of industries, it really does. I'm sorry to say, but it really, it really does. And in how serious you are about being in business and how you're going to treat your customers seriously, you know, that 
and it also communicates your expertise. If you know what you're doing, Mm -hmm. it portrays that as well. A lot of people don't really think about what, how many things go into what your logo says to everybody else. So it's really important that you start off on the right foot and create something that is custom and specifically represents who you are and who you want people to see you as. Absolutely. When, and I've, I've seen you do this for, for businesses, right? Help create their logo and, and really solidify their brand. And, and I've also heard you tell stories about helping like with an event, maybe an event gets a certain logo, or maybe you're trying to promote a nonprofit in the area or a, a program of some sort and, and leveraging that. I, I think message still matters there, right? The, the impression that you create, if you're just slapping something together and it's got typos and, and it doesn't look right, how seriously will people take you after all, right? Right. Yep, exactly. There's, you know, like the chamber puts on a lot of events, so they're different. So they kind of get their own brand and they need to speak whatever that event is and make you feel whatever energy that you want that event to have. And so other like the Des Moines Civil and Human Rights Symposium, they, I work within the entity of the city of Des Moines with the Civil and Human Rights Commission to put on the symposium that they put on every year And this will be the fourth year in a row that I've gotten to do the graphic design that represents that event. It's a different theme every year. So we have, it has to say what it is that their theme is, whatever logo I create and the materials that go with it. So, and then it's sent out all over. People travel from long way to come to those events. And the last couple, we went from like two or 300 to five to 750 people that attend in on that day. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty important that you get the message out there, right? So people are interested and want to come. And and they, they see that you take it seriously, that, that if you hired a professional graphic designer, you're, you're sort of standing up saying, yep, this is, this is, I'm serious about this. Yep. This This, is important. This is is important. I I value this. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Okay. So we got three so far. It saves you time, increases your income, makes you look professional and gets you noticed. Oh, isn't that the the desire of all of our hearts is to be seen. So it gets you noticed. How does a graphic, hiring a professional graphic designer help you get noticed? Well, we give you professional creative solutions. So we kind of go through, we have conversations and, and get to, again, that whole relationship is so valuable when it comes to creating something that's appropriate and right. And that means right for the industry. It means right for sometimes you need trendy and sometimes you just need something that's timeless. And it depends on if it's the event, it's probably maybe a little more trendy because it doesn't need to necessarily be timeless unless it's going to be over time that that event will take place, the same event over and over. So most of the time you're going to want a logo for a, a business to be timeless. Mm-hmm. instead of so trendy, but it also takes a unique combination of both to be attractive and relevant to now and later. So it stands out in the industry where it, it fits in, but it's, it's going to stand out. So again, another unique combination of thought processes and emotions that need to be displayed in something that you see in a graphic that will help do that for your event, your company, you, your you know, even if it's your wedding, you, you want it to be wedding-y, <laughs> you know, and be different than Joe Schmo down the road. You know, it, it still, it just has to be that right combination. Then recognizable back to your branding and the story brand. It needs to continue to be recognizable from one platform to the other that this is still this particular company person event. And that all is done by consistency in the brand, your colors, your shapes, your, you know, just the whole emotion again of the thing and the physical aspects of that. And so consistency keeps you noticed Mm -hmm. and keeps your business event, personal thing moving forward as you grow. Yep. So it just keeps people engaged and keep following you. If you stay consistent with that, even if you, you 
may manipulate it or hone it a little every now and then, but it's still, it's still going to move forward and stay connected. You bet. So I, I think about the Apple logo as one of those the example that you would need a professional graphic designer. I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't put together by some, somebody who just didn't know what they were doing. It was really, really intentional. And I, I think about the stories I've heard about the, the bite out of the Apple that allows it so that even when it's small, so to your point about re- recognizable across multiple platforms, even when it's small, you can still tell an app it's an apple. It doesn't turn into a cherry just because it got little. Right. And it is in another example using that of something that's been tweaked over the years. You look back over the years and you can see how it's changed, but it's still the same. You know what I mean? Yep. People still recognize it as being Apple, Macintosh, you know, that it, it is, but it, it's still a little different, just keeping it relevant but still timeless. It's still timeless. I know that when mm-hmm. I was first kind of dabbling in at your clear next step before I had even, I think the, the company didn't exist as such. And I remember talking to a graphic designer and I was, I was thinking about, well, my logo, you know, it's your clear next step. So why CNS? And, and so I had sketched out, I doodled some things. I with zero artistic abilities had sketched mm-hmm. out what, what it might look like if you took the letters of why CNS and turned it into a logo. And I remember having a conversation with a professional graphic designer and she said, um, Seneca, we don't, we don't do that anymore <laughs> because it, it had been a trend and I had seen some things in the trend and thought it was cool. And she's like, let's, I, I think something more timeless would be better for you. <laughs> yes. And she nailed it too. <laughs> Yep, she did. I'm, she did. I'm grateful. Yep. All right. So we're, we're here with Kelly Webster of Webster Creative, graphic designer and a dear friend of mine. And we're talking about six reasons that hiring a professional graphic designer can make your workday even better. We know it saves you time. Second, it increases your income or your bottom line. Third is it makes you look professional. Fourth is it gets you noticed. And let's move on to number five. It gives you a fresh perspective. Oh, this is a fun one. Talk to us <laughs> about that, Kelly. Yeah. So sometimes you're, you know, too close to the forest to see the trees type of situation. And you really do. It's very helpful to have someone else's perspective of what you do. And I know I most certainly do. I have a hard time, you know, explaining different things or talking about myself just because I would rather hear what other people, how other people see me instead of, you know, kind of how I want them to see, which is kind of my job. So it's a feedback kind of thing too, you know, right? Right. Yeah, so you're too close to be able to, at times, see outside of the box, think outside of the box. So it that whole unique thing, because you're so entrenched of, you know what it is, and it's obvious to you, but it may not be obvious to the person. So you need that objective opinion and objective insights. You know, it, it's important to have a, someone that you deal with personally and have a relationship with a professional graphic designer when it comes to these things, instead of just going, you know, to an online source like Vistaprint, that there's stock photos, there's canned logos or Fiverr where they, they do it for five bucks, you know, how personal and how unique is that really going to be that it's not going to be the perspective that you want because they haven't taken the time to find out what it is that you do. It may be an objective, but it's not still not personal enough. So the relationship that you get and grow with your graphic designer is really going to be a great combination of that outside objective perspective, but then the person that the graphic designer is working with, they're going to keep the designer in line with what it is that they really, they really do and want people to know that they do. So it's a great combination and you can't always get that if you're just by yourself. For sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. So I look back on our, our journey at your clear next step before, before I knew you years before I knew you, we, we did it right. We did the, we did the Vista print buy a logo and something, something like that. And I, I never really liked it, but it was better than nothing. And so I had that. And then somewhere along the line, I was, I was waiting to find I was waiting to publish the logo because I really wanted a logo that that really was that, that represented us. And um, to your point about making us look professional, I, I knew how I wanted to be perceived. And I just I didn't know what that looked like graphically. And as I clearly articulated, I have zero skills in that space. And so I was teaching a class at a it was a women's networking event, and I was teaching a class on problem solving. And I was I was teaching it was just a thirty minute version or twenty five minute version of one of my classes, just helping people 
go from where they were to where they wanted to, to be and, and break through that problem and then just arrive on the other side. And there were lots of people as a women's networking event. So lots of different people in the room. And one of them was a, a graphic designer. And I, I met her and enjoyed saying hello to her. And then I followed up later. because I'm like, you know, I, I think I'm ready. I, I think I, I met you. You seem nice. I'd like to build a relationship with you because I, I, I would like that with a professional graphic designer. And, and I kind of think I'm ready for a logo. And she stopped for a second. And as we're talking, she starts laughing. And I said, why are you laughing? She said, well, because as I was listening to you teach and I realized you didn't have a logo, I designed a logo for you that, that just reflected who, who I think you are and my outside fresh perspective of what I see when, when you talk and, and when you describe your business. And she designed, I kid you not, Kelly, she designed the logo that we have today. It uh-huh. is that very same logo. She nailed it. There were there were two minor exceptions. There was one color change and that she she picked a relational orange and and I, I just needed to be blue. There was a place where the she the the script, if you look at our logo, the the lines when she first drew them, they didn't quite connect at the corners. And I just I, I needed them to connect at the corners. But except for those two minor changes, this person it really was that outside perspective of here's what you need and here's how I see you. And here's the image in in such a powerful way that saved who knows how many months of agony. If I had tried to describe for someone what kind of logo I wanted. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And then again, it, you know, it saved you all kinds of time and grief and stress trying to figure it out. And you, the professional just boom like that. So how excited were you and how much better was your day? (laughs) You know, after that was like, Oh, wow, that was easy. And now it's done. Awesome. (laughs) Awesome. Yeah. 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 She did did a great, great job. I actually went to college with her. (laughs) Oh, excellent. You would know who that was. What a, what a great lady. Oh, Oh, she is. Yeah. All right. So we're still moving on. So we are here with Kelly Webster, a professional graphic designer with Webster Creative. We're talking about six reasons hiring a professional graphic designer can make your workday even better. And we're citing the stories here of how workdays are better. Saves the time, increases your income, makes you look professional, gets you noticed, gives you a fresh perspective. And then our last one, ah, uh, oh, oh, Kelly, it will be done right. Oh, put our minds at ease on that one. Say more. Yes. So kind of as we mentioned earlier, and you had you had brought up about the technical side of being a graphic designer, it's it's not all creativity. There's there's the technical side, and there's there's technical right and there's technical wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy, can it be wrong at times? (laughs) You know, so the people that and I totally get the whole new starting out or no budget type of things in all aspects of when you need something designed, trying to do something yourself and bless everyone's heart that does that. And sometimes it's fine. In some industries, it it doesn't matter as much as it does in others, but you know, they will try to do things. And, and yes, I'm going to use programs names because they are curse words in the graphic design world, publisher and word. (laughs) (laughs) When it comes to then, say, printing, for an example, trying to print the brochure that's been done in Publisher or that's been done in Word and photos that were pulled off of the Internet and a logo that was just plopped in there because that's a sponsor. You go to print that and it's just not happening. (laughs) <laughs> it's just, and if you want it to look any, any kind of decent, it's not happening. So, you know, there, there's technicalities with sizes, with colors and how the colors are built and how the file is printed and bleeds, no bleeds, folds. There's just so many technicalities that the ins and outs, and I know it's dating myself, but I've, I've been in the field of design and print for a very long time my experience and expertise in that is pretty broad. (laughs) Sure. And, but I, I absolutely enjoy it to death. So it has helped me a lot in designing. You can always, you can design a disaster or you can design something that that's producible. (laughs) So it may look great on the screen, but you can't duplicate it elsewhere. So all those things, the right programs, you don't, you know, laid out like a brochure needs to be laid out in a specific program, specific program. A logo should be created as a vector image as opposed to, you know, an actual image, a vector graphic, excuse me. 
And so there's just so many technicalities when it comes to the that part of the creative process. So it's actually reproducible. And so, you know, and then having that, again, the relationship with a graphic designer that knows all of these things, that knows you and your business or your whatever project it is that you're going to have them create with you. If you start there, you'll be able to continue to move forward very easily because they will have the knowledge to keep you relevant, to keep it right, to get you noticed, all the different things that we've talked about today. So your, again, your day is so much better because it has the ease of someone else handling what you most typically don't know enough about to do it and do it correctly in all those aspects. So having that relationship with your graphic designer is extremely important to move forward and have a much, much better work day. (laughs) I totally agree, Kelly. And as a business owner, I, you know, resounding endorsement here to say, yes, absolutely. As a business owner, you should definitely have a graphic designer that you have partnered with. I also want to advocate as having volunteered on multiple boards of, you know, volunteer groups or professional associations and having been part of that. I think about those for a lot of, well, back in the day, right? (laughs) Pre-March 2020, when we used to go to conferences and we would have little booklets, the little booklets, and they would have everybody's logo in them, like the the sponsoring companies for the event or the sponsoring entities for the events. I I think about the, the production of those booklets. And I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are volunteers out there who are members of professional associations who are putting these things together in publisher or word and just dying on the inside because they've just, they're doing this in addition to their day job. It's because they like this organization and they're spending countless hours banging their head up against a wall because they just got a, a logo graphic that no matter what they try and do with it, it doesn't show up right in the little brochure. And if they had a partnership with a graphic designer who could help them through that, I just, I feel like it would make those work days better too. Yes. Yes. Most, most definitely. And and to give them back some of their family time, if nothing else, nothing else. you know, or more of their work day and, and, you know, which then makes it better so they can spend time on what they're, again, what they're good at. It just, it makes a huge, a huge difference when you learn how to prioritize what you're good at and what you're not and reach out to those these really save yourself time and money by having someone else do it at the end of the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kelly, thank you. This has been a delight to talk with you about six reasons that hiring a professional graphic designer can make your work day even better. I'm convinced. So thank you. And as we wrap up, I'm going to ask you the question that I ask all of our guests because this is the even better podcast. So Kelly, what's making you even better these days? Well, you know, everybody, including myself, 2020 was just not a lot of good things. There were a lot of bad, uh, unfortunate, you know, not fun things about 2020. And I guess when I, I look back and I really think if other people do the same, I just think it's important to always find the positive in things. And well, at least it wasn't this, at least it wasn't that. It could have been worse. It could have, you know, always trying to find the silver lining. And I guess that is, you know, this case is is no different for me that in business and in personal, really, that it's just made me pay more attention to what's prioritize what's really important and get down to those those basics. And, you know, there's there's all fingers of, of that. But in, in general, the one thing would be is just really prioritizing what's important and doing your best at that. And, you know, business is, is changed a lot. I have to look at things different, but it's growth and you have to continually grow. And so, okay, sometimes if it's forced, well, okay, it's forced. (laughs) I have to do it, (laughs) but you got more time with my husband and my my, our dogs this summer because we were quarantined at home and forced me to take better care of my health. So it's forced me to take better care of myself and find the importance in that as well. Well, Kelly, thank you. Self-care is, is definitely one of those things we got to get better at. And, and I love looking at the bright spot and, you know, finding the, the positive in those things and, and for sure, focusing on the thing that matters most. So thank you so much. 
It has been a delight to connect with you on this conversation, Kelly, and I look forward to all of our many conversations because we get to see each other a lot. So thank I you. Know. Oh, well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. And again, it's been an honor to be invited to visit with you today. <laughs> well, thanks, Kelly. And for all of those who are listening in to the Even Better podcast, this is Seneca Waugh and saying thank you so much for joining us. And on behalf of all of us at Your Clear Next Step, I hope the rest of your workday is even better. Thank you for tuning in today. The Even Better podcast will be back with more content soon. But in the meantime, subscribe to our podcast or check out our website at yourclearnextstep.com for more information. See you next episode.